Usury. Riba. Usury. Riba is the practice of assigning a fee on credit and other borrowed assets on top of the principal borrowed amount, thus making a profit on the loan, which is strictly prohibited in Islam due to the harm and injustice involved in it. Riba is of different types, but the most serious type of riba, and thus the one that is all the more unlawful, is one relating to loans and debts. It covers any stipulated additional amount over the principal in a transaction of loan or debt, and is of two types. Riba on debts. This type of riba exists in every debt, which carries a stipulation binding the debtor to pay to the creditor any sum of money in excess of the principal sum of the debt. Example. John borrows a thousand pounds from Martin and promises to pay it back after a month. However, John finds himself unable to pay the debt off after a month, and so Martin, the creditor, stipulates that John either pays the debt off without any excess of the principal sum of debt or pay £1,100 after another month. If, however, he still cannot possibly pay that sum off after a month, Martin will defer payment another month, on condition that John pays £1,200. Riba on loans In this type of riba, a person takes out a loan from another person or from a bank with the stipulation at the time of the contract that the borrower must pay an annual interest both parties agree upon of, say, 5% on the borrowed amount to the lender. Example, John is interested in a house which is worth £100,000 but does not have enough money to purchase it, so he takes out a loan from the bank on condition that he must pay the bank £150,000 in monthly instalments over a period of five years. Riba is strictly forbidden in Islam and is one of the major sins as long as the loan is taken out with interest, whether it is an investment loan for financing a business or industry, or purchasing a vital asset such as a house or property, or a consumer loan for personal, family or household purposes. However, purchasing goods in instalments at a price higher than the actual price paid in cash is not considered a form of riba. Example. A person has the choice to purchase a kitchen appliance for £1,000 and pay for it in cash, or for £1,200 in monthly instalments, paying a monthly amount of £100 to owner of the store from which he purchased the appliance.